I haven't done too many or really any tutorials on uh, Caden Live um, because it's pretty straightforward once you have it installed. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is that uh, you have um, version at least uh, 0.8 installed. Um, a lot of people tell me they have problems with Caden Live crashing and I had that a bunch too back in 0.7. Um, so just make sure you have the newest version. You have a lot more features and less crashing. Uh, some people still report crashing. I guess different hardware handles different things differently. So with that out of the way, um, I still get a lot of questions about Cinorella, which I did a lot of tutorials on a couple of years ago, and I don't, I haven't used that since I started using Caden Live. Um, and what I'm going to do today is show you how to add an old film effect. So I'm just going to grab a, a video clip here. I'll grab a few because I don't know which one it is. I actually want. And these are just little videos of my goats playing back when they were little babies. So here's one right here. I'll grab and drop this in the timeline right here. So you can see the little preview window up here. I'll just, you know, play that a little bit. and That's what the video looks like. Now, if we come up here, looks like I already did it, but you have a, a list of effects here. I'm going to type in film. It brings up old film. I can drag and drop that either onto uh, the individual uh, clip or I can drag it to that track. I'm going to grab it to that track because there's going to be more than one clip. And you have things you can adjust over here, but if I now start playing this, it kind of has like flickering to it and it jumps a little bit. And there's other effects you can add like grain and other stuff like that and kind of get a film effect to it. But I've never been extremely happy with the outcome, so I'm going to show you how to add some stuff to this to make it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use the internet go to YouTube. I'm going to search for 8mm film effects stock footage and you'll get a few different things here. I've looked at three of them and so far this one right here has been my favorite. 8mm film layover. Uh, it even says download link in the description. I didn't even realize that till just now. And it's 31 seconds long so you, you can loop it. These other ones are only like 5 or 7 seconds so you, ha you have to loop them a lot. This one is a little bit less looping. Um, and even though it does have a download link in the description, not all the videos will. So of course, there's plugins for Firefox, but here I am, I have a empty directory here. I'm going to use YouTube DL, which I've done tutorials on in the past. And I'm going to do, um, just paste in the URL there. I'm using TC, T will title it, so it doesn't just have a random name, and C will continue in case I stop the download part way. It's kind of a short video, so it shouldn't take very long. Um, but we've got about three more seconds. I'm going to move that off to the side and go back to Caden Live here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to import a new video clip. I'm going to go to the folder I have that saved in, so I just downloaded it here. By default, it's going to download the highest quality right here. It's a WebM format for that particular video. I grab that and if I drag that down here and I play it you can see what it looks like but what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it so it's the length of my video here click the little corner clip here which actually adds a dissolve transition I'm going to grab and pull it out and with that transition selected I'm going to come up here to transition and change this uh, you can play around with different options in here for this particular effect I like burn and you can see here that we now have um, more flickering and kind of a border. Uh, it did make the original video, uh, in this case, a little dark, so we can always uh, search in our effects here for contrast. I'm going to drag that to this clip instead of the timeline because I don't know what the other clips are going to look like. And I'm just going to drag up the contrast a little bit, making it a little more uh, visible through that effect. So now I definitely have a pretty good uh, looking effect there, in my opinion. Um, but we need some sounds. So let's go back to YouTube here. Uh, next I did a search for projector sound effects and I found this one Super 8 projector sound effect. Just find the effect you like and once again I'm going to uh, select that URL and you can use whatever you normally use to download YouTube videos. Like I said I like YouTube uh, DL uh, and I'm just going to paste in that URL and download that. Only took a few seconds. It's a rather short little uh, thing there, audio file that we can loop. It's actually a video file, but we're just going to use the audio from it. Now we could extract the audio from it, but I'm just going to lay it on an audio track. So here we have Super 8 projector sound effect. Open that. I'll drag that down here. And if I press play now, whoop.
we have that. Now, that's good, but we're going to want some more audio than that. Let's add in, and we still have the original audio from the video, even though there's not much going on in that video to hear from. I am going to go to uh, IncomeTech.com, uh, a great place for some free music you can use for commercial and non-commercial use by Kevin McLeod. And um, then I chose from the genres here, um, Silent Film, and he's got a bunch of different ones. And uh, let's just play one here, let's see, Merry-Go-Round. Very playful, that's one that you've probably heard before, that's very common on YouTube videos, I've heard it a number of times. A little more serious, so get the one that, that fills the effect that you want. I'm going to say download the merry-go-round because the goats are playing. I will um, save that and go back to Caden Live and then go to my downloads folder, which I don't have a shortcut to here. I'll say here, downloads and merry-go-round mp3. And a majority of the time when I'm working with Caden Live or any video editor, I convert if it's an mp3 to a WAV format because you, it might get out of sync with an mp3 in a lot of cases, but let's just see. For this short little clip, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Okay, looking good so far. Let's add a little um, silent film title clip. So once again, back to the internet. I'm just going to do a, YouTube, or a Google search for silent film. Hit enter there image search and you'll get a bunch of these here that uh, you can choose what style you want I'm going to choose this one here I think it's a good resolution and I like the border style of it we'll see the full image I'll copy that URL and I'm going to open up GIMP uh, photo editor it opened up on my second monitor here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say open location and I can paste in that URL click open and it downloads it and um, I am going to move these tools offside. I like, a lot of people don't, I like that GIMP has multiple windows because I have two monitors so I can move the tools off to the side like I have them now. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I'll just show you, I'm going to click the selection tool here, uh, select this. Now if I hit delete at this point it gives a white box. An easy way to fix that is we'll just flip the front, uh, the foreground and background colors. Now if I hit delete it actually gives you a black background. I can control A to select all and you can see we have a nice little template. Um, now you can add in your titles over this in uh, Caden Live, but I'm just going to add in a text here. I'm just going to say www.filmsbychris.com and I will, once again, usually I use the tools off to the side, but since I'm showing you how to do stuff, I'll pull them onto the screen here. I'm just going to choose a font uh, I'll choose this one here. Really, I probably would do a Google search for free fonts and find something a little bit fancier that kind of fits the style a little bit better, but just going from the default fonts, I'm going to choose this one here. Center it up. You can also click center text there to center it in the box. And I'm going to spend a whole lot of time on this like I would for an actual project. Uh, but that's looking pretty good, I think for this tutorial. And then we'll just save that. Save as a... Uh, I'll save it to the folder that I have the other clips I downloaded to. I think I called it the folder FX. And I'll call it um, <laughs> words.jpg or png, either or. Export it. Save it. And then we will go back to Caden Live. I will go to my temp directory, um, this hard drive here, <laughs> and effects. There it is. And I'm going to put that down on this track. So earlier we added the original film effect to this entire track, so it still affects that. So you can see it flickering there without that effect on that. Uh, it still looks even pla very plain, but we can drag this over, and now we have the overlay on it as well. Also...
Okay, uh, I actually had finished this video and then realized that my screen capture had uh, stopped recording at just under 10 minutes for some reason. Um, so I think this is where I was left off and we're going to continue this. Um, what I was about to say was you may notice uh, in this video we're getting some blue marks here. Um, that has to do with the burn effect. Once again, you can play with that. It's also kind of bright because we turned up the contrast, so you can try turning that down. But another thing is, you're working with a silent film, you may want it to be black and white. I'm not really sure if there's a black and white. No, I'm typing black, nothing's coming up. What I normally do is just type in saturation. Um, if you spell it right, sat and saturation. Drag that down to the clip here. And uh, just turn the saturation all the way down, and you now have a black and white or grayscale video. Once again, there's other things. There's also a, a grain effect you could probably add to that. I'm going to leave this be as is. Um, the thing we can do here is um, the projector sound that I downloaded. Obviously, um, if you play it, it kind of fades away there at the end. Um, so if you wanted to actually loop this, you would kind of clip this here and clip at the beginning and just copy and paste it a few times for a longer video, if that's a sound clip you're using. Um, I am going to actually... Uh, extend this out a little bit longer and there's a fade to black so I'm going to type fade up here I have fade to black I'm going to drop that on that right there and I'm going to cut the audio here and here to that length and then uh, I can grab this here and drag it for the audio to fade out you also have a fade in fade out option for audio here I'll drag that to there so either way um, and then let's see how that looks. So at this point, I'm going to click Render. And um, in this Render tab, uh, there are a lot of presets. Now, by default, depending on how you installed uh, Caden Live, there may be a lot of these grayed out. Uh, just Google. I'm not going to go through it because it's a few steps. But just Google Caden uh, Live um, Render Presets Grayed Out or something like that, and like the first link or so shows you what packages you have to install to get that working. Um, the packages' names may vary slightly, but once you have those installed, you'll have all these presets. And I like to use Xvid for most of my stuff. Uh, obviously, uh, Theora, Og Theora, is going to be a little more open than Xvid, but a little less uh, uh, portable in some ways. Like, uh, I don't know if it still does. YouTube used to have an issue with a certain version of Og. So, Xvid is somewhat open source. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into the whole details on that. But um, And then if this is a real project, like a real port project, I set it up to 12. But a lot of times for YouTube, I'll just leave it at 8,000 there. And give it a name. Click Render. It will render out. Uh, render. It's going to... I've already rendered this out once when I originally did this video. It's going to ask if I want to override. I'll say yes. It will start rendering. And, uh, well... Uh, here at the end, I'll play that little clip. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Um, I thank you for visiting my site if you're watching this on my site. If you have not visited my site, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the video description of this video. And I have lots of other tutorials up there. And I just want to thank you for watching and hope that you have a great day. Here's that video clip that we just created.